Hi, it's Jason with VeloFix, and I'd like to show you what to do after you've adjusted your rad power brakes. Moved out the barrel adjuster, taken out slack on the on the uh, for the outboard pad. You've, maybe you've done it over here as well. You've turned this barrel adjuster for the outboard pad, and for the inboard pad, you've taken your five millimeter wrench and you've turned it to the right to turn your pad in. And that's been great, except now you've gotten to the point where you can't do that anymore. And your brake levers just going straight to the handlebar. Here's what you do. Okay, you still got a little bit of brake pad left. Maybe you've got 40, 30, 40% left and you wanna get the most out of it. You take the slack out of the barrel adjuster. Oh, we've turned this out a whole bunch. Let's put it all the way back in toward the body of the lever. Same thing down here at the caliper. Turn it all the way down. Now what we're gonna do is loosen up the actual caliper itself. So I'm gonna take the five millimeter wrench. It's nice if it has a wobbly head. Put it into the bolt, the uh, nut here, the bolt, sorry. Turn to the left. Loosen up one, loosen up the other one. And now you can see from the other side, there's a whole lot of space between the rotor and the pads. So we're gonna take out that space by using our five millimeter and putting in to the piston and turning. And when I do this, I like to squeeze the brake lever till I get about the amount of lever, lever pull that I want. That's pretty good. And you can even do this half a, half a click. But in this case, I'll do a full click, but I'm gonna tighten this one up over here a little bit. Okay. Great. I've got uh, the caliper about where I want it. I've got the lever pull where I want it. I'm gonna tilt the bike up. So you can see, we'll turn it this way a little bit. I'm looking down. And if you can see straight down, there's a little gap on either side of the pad, either side of the rotor. Kind of hard to tell. But if I get it so it's centered, then it's not gonna rub. And this may take a lot of trial and error. And even if it does rub a tiny bit, it's gonna go away. That rubbing is gonna stop as the brake pad wears down. And here's something that's happening. I turn the head, I turn the head of the bolt and the caliper moves. I don't know if you see that. And that's really a pain. But what you can do is you can put a little bit of lubricant, like a little bit of triflow oil on there to keep that from happening, or you can just kind of hold it in place. So I'm turning it. It's totally rubbing there. I'll go between one side and the other. And somewhere in the middle, I'll find a place where it's rubbing the least. Eventually, you end up getting a brake that's tight enough to use and the wheel moves free enough so it doesn't bother you. When you've got that, tighten down one, then the other, and then go right. If you find that your brake rotor, when you're adjusting your brake, is touching one side then the other, it's probably is wobbly or it's bent and that happens often in shipping maybe it's been that way on your bike the entire time or maybe you bumped up against a bike rack or someone else and then when you spin the rotor it's wobbly and so this is a tool that we can use you can also use an adjustable jaw wrench to go onto the rotor so you spin it and you use the gap between the pads as a guide and when you see it's rubbing on one side use this and bend it over slightly. So don't do it really hard, just do it gently. And that's a way that over time, well, with some practice, you can then um, get the rotor more aligned. All right, so happy rotor truing.